On Friday, April 20th, at approximately 10 a.m., over 200 Ashland Middle School students staged a walkout to demand better gun control laws. We want to take. We want to take. Students from AMS marched downtown where they joined Ashland High School students in an afternoon of speeches and nonviolent demonstrations. We cannot let that happen. I was very happy doing the march personally and it made me feel really empowered and connected with uh, my community and my, especially my peers and the people around me. Go away, NRA, go away. that I barely knew uh, and we all just got together and uh, bonded over this one thing that all united us. Now let's see what we've learned from this to us as to how uh, we might act non-violently. What are the basic problems here so far? You cannot go on a demonstration with 25 people doing whatever they want to do. They have to have a common discipline. And that's, that's a key word for me, that the difficulty with nonviolent people and efforts is that they don't recognize the necessity of fierce discipline and training and strategizing and planning and recruiting and doing the kinds of things that you do to have a movement. Uh, that, that, that can't happen spontaneously. It has to be done systematically. Unfortunately, the concept of nonviolence for many people is that you get hit on one cheek, you turn the other cheek, you don't do anything. But nonviolence means fighting back. But you're fighting back with another purpose and with other weapons. Number one, your, your fight is to win that person over. And that is a fight. That's a struggle. That's much more challenging than fisticuffs. In the recent months, students have been leading nationwide walkouts to protest gun violence and the lack of gun control. These protests are a type of nonviolent direct action which students have resorted to after the previous steps have failed to get the change they want. These walkouts were spurred by the mass shooting at Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida that occurred on February 14th, and people all over the world are finally saying, enough is enough. March 24th, 250,000 people marched on our nation's capital demanding stricter gun control to stop the mass shooting epidemic. Survivors of the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas shooting spoke out. Life is around you and in you. Answer for Timothy Leary, dearie. This is our future and the next generation's future. We are the generation that needs to make these changes with the issues of gun violence and countless other situations in our events and society. We all have the right to a safe and accessible education so we can develop the tools to go out and make those changes. Hashtag March for Our Lives is just a little easier to swallow than hashtag hands up, don't shoot. <laughs> teachers and staff, my teachers, and all of those whose names would fill a list long as a novel. I am here to protest the common enemy that ties them all together, gun violence. The label that gets thrown around the most in reference to the Young Americans in the Never Again movement is that we're too impractical about change in government, too optimistic about the power of legislation, and too idealistic for our own good. But aren't these ideals we should be, things we should be striving to achieve? What's wrong with believing in the power of democracy at a time when our generation gets so vehemently criticized for political apathy?
I think we should ban all assault style rifles because we wouldn't have all of these problems if these guns didn't exist and weren't able to be owned. For example, Canada has banned guns for a really long time and the number of school shootings or people simply being shot is so much lower than in the U.S. is. Why? Because they don't have guns. What would Congress say on this issue? I feel like Congress wouldn't really say anything because they don't want to cause controversy between the people. Do you think we should ban all assault style rifles? I do believe that we should ban all of them. Do you think we should ban them from the military and regular people of our society or f keep them with the military? I think that the people in the military should be going through background checks and through tests to see if they're actually allowed to use them and if they should mentally be able to use them. Should we ban all guns? I'm not sure all guns, but um, I think that the AR-15s and stuff like that should be banned. Oh, what's your next step in making a change to gun laws? Um, hopefully uh, there will be another walkout or government people like Donald Trump will see that we are trying to make a change and he will make a change to our universe. I think the protests are going to last until change is made and until we actually see the results we're l hoping for. We did get some help from adults. Uh, like, yeah, there weren't m as many as adults as I wish there were. Like, because in Ashland there's a bunch of colleges and like adults at the colleges. But I wish that they would participate in the march and like hey doing good it's sad that these are the circumstances that it took for me to feel so connected with people but it happened and it was just really empowering and it was great to see like i don't know how strong we all are our space songs on a spider web sitar life is around you and in you Timothy Lee.